Riyadu Sulayim. Chapter 306 Prohibition of keeping a dog except as a watchdog or hunting dog. Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, said, the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, he who keeps a dog other than one for guarding the fields or herds or hunting, will lose two kirat every day out of his rewards. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, said, the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, he who keeps a dog, will lose out of his good deeds equal to one kirat every day, except one who keeps it for guarding the fields or the herd. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. In a narration of Muslim, the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him is reported to have said, he who keeps a dog for any reason other than to guard his property, lands, or his flock of sheep, his good deeds equal to two kirat will be deducted every day. Commentary 1. We learn from these ahadith that it is permissible to keep dogs for hunting and security of herds and farms but not for any other purpose. If anyone does so, he will be losing a kirat or two from his rewards every day. Why did the Prophet peace be upon him use the words kirat or two kirat? Some scholars say that at first the Prophet peace be upon him said one and subsequently increased the number. Some scholars hold that the difference of one and two relates to urban and rural areas. The inhabitants of cities would be losing two kirat from their rewards daily, while in case of villagers this loss will be one kirat only, because they stand in greater need of dogs. 2. Why does the reduction in reward take place? In response to this question, it has been stated that it is very difficult to escape from the filth of dogs, and sometimes it adversely affects even salad and reduces their reward. Some scholars say that since dogs are apt to bark on guests and beggars and scare them, the tension caused by this affects the reward of the host. Allah alone knows the truth of the matter. What is kirat? It is differently interpreted. There is a kirat which is mentioned in the funeral prayer. This is equal to the Uhud mountain. Does it signify the same here? Some scholars answer this question in the affirmative while others hold that in the funeral prayer it occurs with reference to Allah's mercy and grace but here it relates to his wrath. As the former is far greater than the latter, the word cannot have the same significance in both contexts.